Hello, my name is Thorin Teague, and this is my Art 6520 uh, Assessments in Art Education final project. I am going to be talking about fostering creativity in the college art classroom, things like assessment and divergent outcomes. So we need to figure out what creativity is. Well, it's the ability to generate a new idea or unique thought. Uh, I have found it comes in two basic flavors, uh, an innovative use of existing tools when the student figures something new out, or a creation of content that is unexpected, entertaining, expressive, emotive, or otherwise compelling. So something very interesting to look at. Two requirements for creativity, space and time. You need boundaries of space and time. In other words, you need a space you need a place, it needs to be free of distraction, and you need a set time. It has to have a start and end time. Academically speaking, we need to administer projects with divergent outcomes, and in these parameters, creativity is not guaranteed. Ways of teaching creativity are giving a project with divergent outcomes by demonstrating a skill through assigned we readings and by using the I do, we do, and you do model of teaching, which is a gradual release of responsibility. You show the student something, uh, then we all do it as a group, and then the student takes that and runs with it. Now, ultimately here, the onus is on the student. It's the teacher's responsibility to provide the tools and a, an environment that is conducive to creative thinking. but it's really on the student to attempt creativity. I say attempt because situations can be provided in which creativity is more likely to occur. It's not guaranteed to occur, but we can kind of set the scene. Formative assessments are your secret weapon when you're trying to foster creativity in your classroom. Use them early, use them often. Interim, diagnostic, and progress monitoring assessments. Use descriptive feedback. That's the key to formative assessments. They're a tool for the student, too, so they need to have that feedback in order to make any use of them. And always encourage the students to assess one another in groups or, you know, just help each other out. How I think of assessments, they're not a tool of judgment, stonewalling, control, or fear. They're tools for guidance, self-reflection, and informational purposes. Assessments are not auto autopsies. They're physicals. And assessments are not once and done. You give them frequently throughout the semester. And assessments are not only tests. They're also self-analyses, group critiques and discussions, class discussions, and just observing students and providing feedback. <clears throat> um, the more I learn and read, the more I question the necessity and value of any testing whatsoever in the art classroom. I'm thinking these could be replaced with some cleverly designed activities that feel less like tests and have lower pressure with the same academic result and more educational value. We're going for low pressure, but some people just get test anxiety no matter what. <clears throat> uh, include clear outcomes, every unit, every assignment. Measure performance using established benchmarks, not in comparison to other students. Apply each level in the depth of knowledge in every unit. One, recall re reproduction. Two, skill concept. Three, strategic thinking. And four, extended thinking. Here's a way I've found that is uh, a nice, easy way to apply the depth of knowledge chart. And basically, what I do is I just take my outcomes and I take a look at the verbs. And I can match those verbs to every level of the de depth of knowledge chart. And, you know, you might take a little extrapolation. But it's pretty straightforward, and I can instantly know what levels I'm addressing. To foster creativity, avoid recipe-type exercises with canned outcomes. Avoid testing on trivia. Avoid judgment and criticism. Remember, critique is not just criticism. The student will not have any chance of entering a creative state if they don't feel safe doing so. You have to make sure that they know your classroom is a safe place to do that. To foster creativity, emphasize brainstorming, research, and development. Engaging in authentic creative creative processes over making facsimiles. Uh, authentic 
cultural and or real world contexts and of course emphasize divergent thinking and divergent outcomes for most or all projects and then I crossed that off and rethought it I thought most or all coursework and that's an important distinction to foster creativity consider whether your lesson needs to be covered or whether your lesson needs to be uncovered that was a real big um, moment for me when I came across that little bit of knowledge so does this need to be lectured on or does this need to be something that the student discovers through their own creative process just think about that how are we gonna assess creativity gasp and all the air leaves the room why how what oh my goodness we can't we can't do that we can't assess creativity it's impossible it's too hard yes we can little little nod to the president <laughs> if you see it you can measure it most of my colleagues and I assume most art instructors say I know creativity when I see it if you see it you can measure it all other sorry other areas we all assess such as effective organization productivity and communication are far more abstract than creativity and I say don't sweat it too much putting any random marks on paper is a creative act technically speaking so here's some quality indicators for creativity new surprising and innovative synthesis of ideas inquisitive attitudes and asking questions to build upon ideas brainstorming multiple ideas and solutions executing multiple drafts or versions of a piece or a design and communicating ideas in new and innovative ways and that's coming from Andrew Miller at Edutopia <clears throat> Portfolios are great assessments, summative assessments at the end of the class or program. They represent the capstone of each student's work. Uh, I would like to see personally a less formal student portfolio exhibition at the end of each semester. It's been talked about, hasn't been done yet. We do have a capstone portfolio at the end of the program where the students put together uh, all, their, all their best pieces and make them presentable. Authentic assessment of creativity requires clearly articulated outcomes providing students with rubrics can be helpful or you can use a punch list of I can statements you can also do both um, I can statements are things like I can communicate differing moods or emotions using value and lighting changes I can attach a, an external style sheet to an HTML page and sent, set fonts and colors and so on so useful stuff ways to do it here bundled assessments are incredibly useful you can use it to assess students from multiple angles you can use multiple learning modes an example of bundled assessment might be a charcoal drawing project of a landscape which will be followed up with a self-analysis of student success or lack thereof with the materials and then there would possibly be a class discussion or written assessment of the properties of the materials how did it work how what went right what went wrong they can talk about this in groups or amongst themselves thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it